So a big thing has been about, you know, at the running back position is that, you know, Travion Henderson is a tremendous talent, but he can't, you cannot have him running the entire game. You basically run him into the ground and you got to have some depth at that running back position. And, you know, what I like about this running back group is that you don't, you don't see what we see on other positions, but these so basically, Ryan Day is going to be relying a lot on Evan Pryor and Mayan Williams. Now, this is something that I, I've talked about before, but, you know, Ryan Day's, you know, finally, you know, opened up about it. And so basically said the first one that he wanted to, to talk about was Evan Pryor. One thing he said that about Evan Pryor, that he's good out the backfield. Now, obviously, you have the running back. I got the interview. I had the opportunity to, you know, interview the running backs coach, Tony Offer, which was which was really great. You know, we got some insight, you know, from the position group, the position head coach, and what he's seen from them. And now to to get added depth. Now, I didn't interview Coach Day. This is Coach Day talking about, you know, both of them. And I'm just breaking it down what he's saying. So he really likes Evan, Evan Pryor. Now, one thing he says that he's got out the backfield, he gives us wiggle room. Now, I do believe that Evan Pryor does give wiggle, wiggle room. <laughs> uh, he does he, – right. He does give wiggle room because Mayan can can go, Travion can go. But if you you have a three backs that are that are going off each game, you're gonna have a fresh Travion, which is already a problem, which would be a problem for Notre Dame. And then you have a fresh Mayan because Mayan is a more of a inside the numbers guy. He doesn't get to the outside like that. Now prior he has speed. Now I believe he can do both. I think he can get to the outside, but he can also run. He can do kind of what both can do or the weakness that Mayon and Travion has, he's very solid at both, which can be a benefit to Ohio State's offense. Now, obviously, the wide receiver position is, is good, but, you know, to have a guy that can do both because when Travion's in the game, especially last year, now Coach Offer talked about him working on him running up the, you know, running up the gut more. He's still a small dude, and them hits, he's not going to do that the, the entire game. You want to have him – you don't want to be predictable. And I think with Evan – you know, he gives defenses a little bit more to prepare for and how you do it because you know what, what type of runner Myron is. You know what type of runner Travion is. Evan Pryor is a wild card, so if he can just step up and, and be very solid, that's going to be huge. And then Myron is, is getting a lot better. You know, last year he was good. He also had a tremendous spring game, and he, he, he and he's been looking really good in practice. And Coach Day said that he has, has the depth that they're looking for. So, you know, you have both of these guys at the running back position, you know, either one each day, you know, going off on whatever team is going to be a problem. Now, do I think we're going to run the ball down Notre Dame? I, I don't think we're going to do that, but I think all three guys are going to get some, some playing time, and I think all three are going to make an impact. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if Evan had one of the more bigger impacts in the game. I think other people would be surprised, but I won't because he can do a little bit of what Travion can't do and what a little bit of Mayan can't do. Very solid running back. With those three together, it's going to be a problem for Notre 